Yo guys, welcome back to Brandon PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool uh, deck here I built using the new Ninetales alongside with Amoongus. So the whole combo, whole idea, is we're trying to use Hex here. Now Hex is only if your opponent's active is affected by a special condition. And then what we do is use Amoongus' Bursting Spores ability to drop a Fungus, which can also pair, we can poison and put them to sleep. Now it's two conditions, but we can take advantage of the poison for the extra damage output that this Ninetales desperately needs. And we can combine the poison with Quillfish, and we can also use Slumbering Forest. Now, technically, Mareep might be a little bit more wiser. Of course, Mareep allows you to, you know, kind of sequence a little bit better because you just put it to sleep. But this combo, I feel like might be a little bit stronger because uh, the ability to poison them is really useful. It allows us to use the Quillfish, and it does more damage. You can still use Slumbering Forest. The deck also can use Scoob Up Net to reuse your Funguses. So that's kind of the whole idea of this deck here. And Ninetales, of course, being a fire type, is pretty relevant. So before you get the video, guys, go share to our sponsor, Car Drive and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, guys, if you are still looking to get yourself Rebel Clash codes, guys, you can get them over at Car Drive and TCG. Um, Car Cabin has Rebel Clash codes, of course, in stock, and they also will have theme deck codes in stock, hopefully, and the pre-release kits for Rebel Clash in stock. And of course, guys, if you're looking for any other PDC Joe pack code, like Team Up or Unbroken Bonds or... Unified Mines or Cosmic Clips or Sword and Shield base set codes. Get them over at Cargaven TCG. And of course, if you have any codes or cards laying around that you don't want to use anymore, you can trade them into Cargaven TCG for some cash or in-store credit. And if you get anything from Cargaven, guys, you can use my discount code code LDF for the checkout. We'll get you a 5% discount on your order. It supports the channel greatly, helps yourself out, and helps out Cargaven TCG in the process. Yeah, shout out to Cargaven, guys. Check them out and uh, use code LDF if you pick up any codes. So let's look at this list here. So honestly... The deck did okay in this video. Um, so Hex, of course, it's pretty cool. Uh, it does 120 damage for a single energy, which is good. And that's relevant numbers. 120 allows you to one-shot Zacian V without a metal frying pan. We do have Tool Scrapper to help us out. And with the Vitality Band, you can actually one-shot Egg Rouse too. So you can hit both the Zacian deck and the Egg Rouse deck. Oh, they're just two good matchups for this deck. And also, spamming the Sleep Summering Force lock on them can buy you a turn. Like, if you need to, like give yourself a free turn you can like use spore or you can use well, you're never gonna use flickering flames but you can use the summary force to buy yourself turns and we can also use marnie and reset to try to lower their hand so that they can't find their switch so there's just a lot of cool things you can do with the slumbering forest and that's why i like kind of playing this little com trio combo of cards um so much of the deck of course i am playing one breloom i actually really wanted to play two of these now ideally you could go three three nine tails and then play some Brelooms in the deck because this is a grass uh, or fighting type which allows you to take out Pika but it's also a Pokemon with Spore that's also why this Breloom is relevant because it also does have the ability Spore which is relevant with Amoongus and I do play Ditto for the Breloom it's an option most of the time you want to use the Breloom of course in that lightning matchup and honestly playing a couple more of these wouldn't hurt you there's definitely some cards I would like to maybe put in here I uh, just room space I can't find them but I also would like to maybe play cards like Super Scoop Up um more Relooms would be good, too. Uh, I got two Jirachis for Stellar Wish. One Eldegoss, because Happy Match is really good, and it wins you games, as you'll see in this video, just saying. And I got a cool fish. Now, this can also not only use Venoshock to take a knock on a Blacephalon, you can actually use Poison Point to poison your opponent's new active, which means you don't need to waste those. You don't. You can save yourself a scoop-up net, pretty much, is what I'm trying to get at. So that's why the cool fish is actually not a bad attacker in here. Um... I am playing a lot of Baltimore cards because we're just trying to set up as much as we can. We are trying to get a Amoongus down and then we're trying to find Fungus's all, and we're trying to get Ninetales and Vulpix's. There's a lot of Pokemon we need to constantly be chaining a lot. So having cards like Great Ball, Evo Incense, Calm, Quick Balls, just all these searching cards are really good. Got two Ornate Rods, get back your Pokemon Energy. One Reset, just lower their hand size, put them to sleep, lock them for a couple turns. Four Scoop Up Net because it's a very important card. We got one Tool Scrapper for Frying Pans, four Slumbering Forest, one Boss Order, four Cynthia, three Marnie, three Research. One escape board, one vitality band, so that we can do 130 damage with nine tails. Uh, I am playing three units, just if we ever need to use that Breloom option, and then I have four basic fire energies here to round out the nine tails and Moongus deck. Um, it's kind of funny because nine tails Moongus used to be its own archetype. It's its own archetype in Legacy, which is kind of hilarious, I guess, for this video. But uh, we're gonna try this deck out here and see if we can win some games with it. All right, guys, let's get into our first match with this nine tails and Moongus deck. We're up against what looks to be either Firebox or Blacephalon. Actually, this is gonna be Baby Blounds. Judging from the typing here, which is fine. Zacian being on the bench is going to be big for us if we want to get a nice two prizes, possibly. And we do get a Jirachi Fungus start, which is pretty good for us. Uh, Baby Blinds definitely could be interesting. I think we can win as long as they have a Zacian to play, maybe. Other than that, I don't know. I mean, the hard part about this is 
it's a single prize trade. We can one shot them though all the time with nine tails, which is relevant, but they need to put a say I think them need they really need to get a station down. Like if they don't get a Zacian, this could be pretty difficult to win. They are going first, so they don't get to attack me, which I like. Okay. They mention Arcorio. I really want them to get a Zacian down. They probably don't know what I'm playing. So if they can put a Zacian in Intrepid Sword, nope, rip. Never mind, I that was just wishful thinking. Alright, let's tell her wish, see if we get a quick ball. We get a Marnie. I think I'm just gonna play the Cynthia. I'm not gonna take anything. I don't really want any I don't want any of that. We're just gonna take the Cynthia. And see what we're getting here. Uh there's a Vulpix. Great ball and quick ball too is pretty good. I'm gonna play this. Can we get another Jirachi maybe? No, we do get the Amoongus though, which is good. We can quick ball away the Marnie. We're gonna go see the next turn just for consistency issues. And we're just gonna get another Jirachi here, I think. Maybe should have gotten a second Vulpix too. Ditto maybe even if we're gonna go Breloom. We're not up against a Lightning deck, so probably don't need to be Breloom. We'll see what happens here though. My opponent could knock me out if they have a Welder. They could also hit a Blazer Energy, which could kill me. Them getting the first prize is relevant. Again, if they don't put down like a Zacian or something, that could be really tough. It also comes down to how many switches they burn. If they burn a lot of their switches, that's good. Uh, because Slumbering Force Lock could be a thing on a Recorio. They do get rid of two energies, or four. Out of those two cards is one of those a Magic Welder. If it's a Welder, that's gonna suck. If it's not, we might be able to knock out this Wilcephalon next turn, if all goes planned. Ooh, they have to retreat. Nice. They're losing energy here, and they have to give in to the Jirachi, which I like. This is good. Uh, we might be able to get the first prize after all. This is nice. Alright, I really want them to get that Zacian down. Like, I know they want to just go Intrepid Sword here, but they just don't have a quick ball, I guess, to get the Zacian. But they bench that Zacian, bro. It's it's such an easy knockout for Hex. Yeah, okay, no Zacian once again. So, let's see what we draw. Quick ball. We can't play that, unfortunately. But what we can do is get down all these boys. Actually, they stayed asleep. We wouldn't even have needed to use Bursting Spores on them. That's kind of nice. And, okay, we're with the energy, so we are unfortunately aren't going to be able to attack them here. Didn't really get much here. And I actually think I'm just going to take the Marnie. I'll probably just Marnie them next turn. But they are dead drawing, so it's probably not a good idea. And I'm actually not going to play the net. There's no need to do another Stellar Wish, in my opinion. And we also don't want to waste our scoop-up nets. The only thing we're missing is obviously just more Vulpix. Another energy would have been nice. They might actually get the first knockout here if they get a Welder. It's an Acro Bike. That's not a Welder. That can get them a Welder, maybe. We'll see. All right, let's see what this bike gets them. Again, I really want them to get a Zacian down, bro. It's just, again, I can say this as many times as I want, but they don't play Frying Pan, so that Zacian is such an easy target for Hex. We need them to bench it, though. Ooh, they're down a switch. That's good. There's a Quick Ball. Will they get Zacian here? They do. There it is. There's Zacian, and there is our possible win target, hopefully. Ooh, boss's order on the Ninetales. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't know why they did that, but okay, we might get a knockout here. Okay. Uh, this is a little tough. I really don't want to use the scoop up net. I also don't want to go Marnie either and give him a new hand, but unfortunately, that's uh, it's so risky. But I don't want to lose these scoop up nets though, bro. I think we have to Marnie them. I really don't want to lose this hand. I maybe could have just held it too. We didn't even get an energy or a fungus. Ah, oh, big rip right there, guys. All right, we're gonna have to net the nine tails. Go back into Drachi. That sucks. That's a big whiff. Okay, quick ball. What we can do is put them to sleep with fungus. I might have gave them a switch off that, but it doesn't seem like a bad idea. Just slow them down a little bit. Just retreating the other Drachi. There's a supporter. Perfect. All right, this worked out fine. So we'll see if they stay asleep. Okay, good. I was like, oh, they got heads and they're going to wake up. But we're good. I didn't Marnie them, so it is very likely I gave them an actual good hand. They have Intrepid Sword to sit behind too, but again, as long as that thing is in play, we can knock it out. There's the counter stadium. I'm fine with that. As long as they just don't attack me here and take a prize, I will be satisfied with this Slumbering Force play we did. 
Let's see, there's an acro bike. They're definitely gonna get something here, for sure. Like, they definitely will. They, they get to draw a lot of cards. We gave them a new hand. Oh, they got the switch. Damn, bro. Damn. They got the switch. But did they get the welder to knock me out? They could also blazer me again, I guess, but we'll see if they get the welder. They get a second blown. Yep, there's the welder. So, Drachi will go down here, which is fine. It doesn't even have a switching card on it. And uh, we should be able to take out this Blacephalon here. As long as we can get like a net or another Fungus. I wouldn't mind finding Ditto so I can go Breloom. Breloom's an attacker and we can also use it. Okay, so this is where things are going to ramp up. We haven't seen an energy this entire game, so if we don't get energy this turn, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, we got the Fungus, so we can put this guy to sleep. And we're going to go with the Cynthia before we do the Stellar Wish, in case we get a scoop of net. There's the energy. There's the second Ninetales. Ooh, we can play Heat Factory, actually, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, we get a Tool Scrapper here. We get rid of that Escape Board. Seems good to me. I don't really care about Lucky Egg, so let's just get rid of that Escape Board. That might slow them down in turn. Ooh, there's Boss's Order. We don't have a net, though. I don't think we need to play the Boss Order, though. We could knock out the Zacian next turn. Uh, that might just be a better end game type of thing. I think I'm actually just going to take the quick ball here. Just so we can do another Fungus. Maybe we should take a boss over, but we're probably going to research anyway. So, we're going to take a knockout here on this Blacephalon GX. Or Blacephalon GX, the Baby Blown. And we'll see how this game finishes off. What's our prize looking like? A forest? We got the Counter Stadium. We can play the Heat Factory 2 and then Ordinary Rod. Seems good to me. Seems a good to me. So nine tails will go down here unless we're like insanely lucky and they don't have a welder, but they definitely do. They didn't even promote Jirachi, so they're just confident that they have the knockout here. We'll see how many stadiums they played too. They haven't played any Ultra Space yet, but if they don't play that many stadiums, Slumbering Force could stick around for a while, and that could be a saving grace here, as long as they just run out of switches. They've only played two so far though. Alright, they definitely have a welder here. Yep, there it is. So Nine Tails will go down. We do have 150 technical HP, if you want to call it that. So they do have to go to 3 energy. Not that it matters, but it could make a difference. It's always good when the uh, non prize Pokemon needs one needs the 3 energy to be knocked down instead of 2. But yeah, as long as the Zacian's down, we should be fine to win this game. We'll see, though, if that ever comes. They have 10 cards left in their deck, so they're thinning pretty thin. Okay, they get another Baby Blown. We're going to have to quick ball for Vulpix here, I think. There is a chance we don't find Scoop Up Net, though, which is a little bit of a worry. If we don't get the net here, that could be pretty bad. How many are we down? Just one, right? Yeah, okay. I thought that Evo Incense was a Scoop Up Net. Let's see what we draw. Fungus. Unfortunately, though, we have to get rid of it because we have to go for Vulpix here. We do have Quillfish available to us. That's another single prize attacker we have. Alright, we'll play this. We get a... Okay, reset stamp's good. Especially because we're bumping their stadium. Ordinary Rod. This is going to clunk the deck back up in terms of us not finding a possible scoop up net. We'll play this. Alright, we're not going to take that. Alright, we're going to research. There's the net, nice. Uh, we'll take the Pokecom. Nah, I'll take the Quick Ball. I might just attack them with Coolfish next turn, possibly. Alright. We did also Tool Scrapper them, so they don't have that Escape Bar anymore, which is pretty good. And let's knock them out with Hex. Alright. This is looking decent for now. And then we just gotta take out that Zacian. I said it before. We actually knock out the Zacian next turn if... Well, actually, no. We should take in the Pokemon because we get energy here. We can knock out the Zacian. I'm probably going to Marnie them, though. All right. Did they get a Welder off of a Stamp to 2 or Stamp to 4? They have Dance of Tribute. I'm going to be pretty surprised I actually do find Welder here, not going to lie. Two out of, like, what? 16 cards? There's a Pal Pad. How many bikes do they have? They're out of bikes, so they don't have any bikes left. They actually get Boss Zora, so they can knock out the F Amoongus here if they want. Did they seriously find one of their two welders? Are you... Bro, no, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. They might have to switch into the Jirachi. But they didn't find welder. Please don't tell me you actually found the welder. 
two welders and they hit one. Mm, I don't get that. I don't get that logic, bro. Dude, welder is rigged, bro. It's such a rigged card. Oh, dude, that is wow. Apparently, welder is very easy to find when you only have two in your deck. Awesome. Very awesome. Definitely not a little uh, triggered. So I want to try and talk about Quillfish here. Okay. So now we just need to get the scoop up net. Nope. Um. Put that on top. Or back in the deck. How many nets do we have? We have two left. We don't have any bench room. We had a net there, we could have just knocked out the Zacian. The problem is, if we don't get a knockout here, they're getting very close to just winning with that burst GX. So we can put the energy on Quillfish. Yeah, we need to save our Nine Tails anyway. So I can research here. That's fine. As long as we can get back that boss order with Eldegoss. There's the scoop up net. Bring that in. I wish I could put the ditto down for the Breloom. Whatever. And Venoshock. Take our prize. What's it looking like here? Eldegoss? Okay, there's the boss's order. We don't have an energy or another net, though, to reuse the Amoongus. We also didn't get... We weren't able to, like, use a Breloom. I don't know. This is... This might be a closer game than I thought. We might actually not be able to win this. I don't know. They're out of Fire Crystals, so that's actually not bad. They're down 11 energy, too. Hmm. I wish we had more scoop of net, so I'm not gonna lie. But unfortunately, we can't play more than four. We had a bench. I guess, like, we technically can bench a Fungus here, but we I don't think we have enough bench room to win the game. Oh, they have Victini. So they can just go Victini here and get all the energy back. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good. They are going to auto-poison themselves, though, so we actually can just still go knock out Ninetales here, so we actually wouldn't need the net, which is pretty relieving. Uh, then I can play the Ditto down. Seems cool. We knock out Victini, we knock this out. That's how we win. Let's see if we can pull it off. All right, auto-poison. Seems good to me. The only thing that could stop me is a reset stamp. I don't think they play it, though. Where do we draw? Drew the net anyways. All right, so what am I doing here? I do want to put this ditto down so I can turn to a nine tails. We don't have an energy though. There we go, we got a Cynthia. That can find us energy. In fact, I'm gonna play the ordinary rod and I'm only gonna get back the basic energy. We could get back the the Quillfish too, but I don't think we have time. Alright, so this... We could net this guy back, actually, too. We're definitely gonna find energy here, so we probably don't need the net. Like, I don't see how we're gonna whiff an energy. Yeah, there we go. Perfect! We got the perfect hand for next turn to win. So we just need to not get, uh... We just need to not get a uh, reset stamped and we should be able to win this game by knocking out that Zacian. More nine tails is better than one. So yeah, if they, if they stamp me here, we lose. If they don't stamp me, we should win the game. I don't think they play stamp though. But baby Blounce does not play reset. If they play stamp, bro, I'm done because this guy doesn't have the right Baby Blounce deck. I'm going to be a little triggered if they actually do play stamp, not going to lie. But... As long as we keep our hand, we should be good to go. Let's see, can we come out on top of the dub? As long as we can take out that Zacian. Welder, okay, that's not a reset stamp. I like to see it. Please don't have the stamp. I'm, I'm kind of nervous right now, not gonna lie. I am kind of nervous that they might have a reset, bro. I don't know. All right, let's see it. No stamp, no whammy. And that's game. That will be game, guys. 
Right, boss order in the discard. Yep, that's game. And just like that, guys, we took out a baby bomb stack. A very close matchup for sure. Uh, again, I think the Quillfish is very big in the matchup because of that poison effect we got to do. And yeah, just like that, we'll go Eldegoss, get back boss's order. We retreat, scoop up net the Fungus, boss's order the Zacian, drop the Fungus down, and Hex. Very close match for sure. Very, very close game. Honestly, looking back, I kind of want to play more Quillfish. Maybe even play another, maybe play like a Super Scoop Up or something too. I don't know. But that was a pretty good match for sure. So I'll see you guys in probably one more game. All right, guys, getting into another game with our Nine Tails deck. What are we up against here? Oh, possibly Pika. Maybe. This could also be ADP Coco. Who knows? Who, who knows? We'll see if it is and we'll see how we do. Pika might be a little hard to beat because Tag Bolt, but uh, we'll see. We do have that sleep effect we can do, which may or may not win us a game. Who knows? We will see what we're playing against here. Do you think it'll be ADP Coco or it's going to be Pika? And they're letting me go first. Shells Meat is a Pika deck. And we only get one basic here, which is not ideal. We get a Vulpix start. Uh, not great. They are Mulliganing though, which does help us maybe get a second basic. Oh, are they playing a Reshiram deck? It looks like they are playing Reshiram. My man is playing the Reshi of the Roms. So let's see here if we can win a game against Reshiram. I don't know how many switches they play either. That's actually one good thing. Maybe we have more first. They might not be playing many switches. Who knows? Because I, I don't really know if Reshiram would even need more than like two switch. They probably don't play Maulana either. So maybe we'll be good to go. Uh, draw an extra card is good. I, maybe they're playing Ends Resolve and they're trying to offer two extra cards. There's a basic and the best one too. Uh, ooh, Cramorant's in their deck though, which is not great. It's definitely going to be a little annoying. All right, let's try to get a Fungus here. We got one. Beautiful. Yeah, the Cramorant's definitely annoying. If they play Welder here, they actually just knock out my full picks. Uh, and they probably do play Welder, so that is a little scary. We will get our Fungus down though. We're just going to pass. Not much else. Maybe we could have netted the Volpix. We need to save our nets, though. There's, we just never want to waste a net. That's like rule number in this deck. Don't waste a net if you don't have to. I am scared of them playing a beak or spit shot here. That's going to be a bit of a problem if they do play Welder. Okay, another Heat Factor coming down. We get to take advantage of that, which is pretty nice. There's a tag call. They're going to get themselves Reshi Roms. They could go end resolve. They could also welder and spit shot. They could also beat catch, and maybe we can get a Marnie off a of stellar wish. Is that gonna get them a welder? <laughs> and it does, which means they are indeed going to go for the spit shot here, which is pretty frustrating. Yep, they're gonna go for it. Damn it, bro! If only we had a Mew. Alas, we don't play it. They are gonna lose some energy though, which is not terrible, but. Very, very frustrating. And they actually decided to knock a Vulpix, which I'm actually kind of happy about. I mean, I don't like losing my attacker, but we can try to sleep lock them, which is important. Oh, wow. That just stings. All right, let's go Heat Factory here. Okay, we got a couple more Vulpixes. We get a Quick Ball. Uh, we'll dump the Tool Scrapper. We'll get ourselves... Maybe I jumped the gun. I shouldn't have maybe played this because I don't even know what I want. I guess we'll take the cool fish. Stellar Wish. There's, there it is. I was looking for that evil instance to get the Amoongus. Let's get this guy. Amoongus does have a target on its head though, but of course we get more Funguses now and we can just get it back. Plus we two, play two Ornate Rods. Uh, I'm going to put energy here. We're just going to go for Cynthia. See if we can get anything good. We did not. We got a Forest, but we can't put them to sleep, which is a bit of a problem. So we're just gonna have to pass. Man, that sucks. We whiffed, we whiffed the Fungus there. So if they get another Spit Shot off, they're just gonna be able to knock me out and they're gonna Welder again. Oh my gosh, no, stop it with the Welders. Oh no, uh, they're down three Fires, but they definitely have a Knockout here. There's no doubt about it. Oh, but they have the Dedene. They had no Fires, they have, ooh, five Lightning. That's good. That actually means they might not have enough energy to do Fable Flare Bolts. They're down two Welders now. Nice. We don't have to worry about that spit shot again. And they hit one energy off end result. What'd they lose? Uh, eh, nothing really that important, to be honest. And we can Marnie them here, which is good. Okay. Honestly, though, dealing these retro bombs might be hard. 
cross break is a thing. They are down a couple ends resolve, so maybe don't have to worry about cross break, but there's a chance they play Eldegoss. Hey, look at that. All right, we wake up. What do we draw? Great ball. All right, can we get a Fungus? No, we don't. Really? All right, we're going to have to Marnie them here. And, bruh, this hand sucks. All right, we're going to have to put him to sleep here with Fungus. I'm actually going to get rid of the research so we can save our scoop ups. Damn, bro, that sucks. Our hand just wasn't having it. All right, will they wake up? Hey, this is sleep. Okay. Now, again, I don't know how many switches they play, and it would be nice if they end resolve a switch down in the discard pile. That could be pretty good. They are down a lot of energy, though. They are down... They have two in play. They have, what, eight in the... They're down 10 energy. Like, I don't think they play any more than, like, 16. And they have to go dead eight again. They're losing even more energy. There's a good chance, though, they play, like, 20 energy plus. Like, if they're really trying to high roll, there's a chance they do have a lot of energy. And I am still very scared of cross break. That is detrimental. If only we... Maybe we should have put immune here, but I don't even know what we would take out. Uh, did they get a switch, though? Okay, they definitely play, like, a jillion energy. That's 12 energy, 15, 6... That's 16 energy played so far. Coco lets them get extra energy in play, which is scary. If they have a switch here, they can actually take out my Jirachi. And I won't be surprised they did have a switch. They haven't... We haven't seen a single switch yet, and I gotta assume they play at least a couple. Oh, they don't have it. So, now we're looking to knock out this thing. Still a wish. We'll take Ordinary Rod and play it. I'm actually only getting the energy back. I don't really think we need the Vulpix. We could net the Jirachi here. Uh, I guess this is... Mm, I'm not a fan of that, but... I do want to attack with Vulpix. And we have a bench spot open anyway, so it's fine. And all right, we got the Ninetales. We got another Fungus. We got an Eldegoss. Pretty good hand, actually. Um, so let's go Hex. And hope they stay asleep and don't have a switch. Hey, look at that. They're staying asleep. They're snoozing. Uh, boss Order isn't on the discard. I would like to maybe Boss Order this, this Reshiram, though, and try to get it to sleep. If we can try to lock that Reshiram and put it to sleep. I don't know how much energy they have left. Okay, apparently they do have, like, 20 energy. Another Welder gets played. Will they hit a switch here? That would be pretty bad, because I would like to knock out this Trump, uh, this Kramer, but I also don't want them to do cross break, and they probably have another end resolve. So, it's a little sketchy. I wish we had a boss order right now. I guess we we could still play this, because it actually doesn't get knocked out by cross break, which is pretty, pretty good for us. Another energy gone. How much is that, bro? That's 11. There's a the switch. 11... A lot. I don't even want to count it. That's like, that's literally like 19 energy, 18, 19 energy. They are going to KO me. They're going to probably get rid of the energy off the Tramorant. Yep. This is fine though. We don't get a knockout on it just yet. It's totally fine. I'm actually just going to promote the Vulpix because I have high hopes we're going to get something good here. Uh, Vitality Band. So first of all, we're going to drop the Fungus. Great Ball. There's the Ninetales. Nice. And I don't know if they have any switches left. The fact that none have gotten discarded in a while is kind of scaring me, though. And we're just going to go research. I'm going to try to get a scoop of net for my other Fungus here so we can bench another Vulpix. We didn't get a scoop up net? Really? Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to build up the Eldegoss then since it's the only other attack we have. Now, best case scenario, they don't have a switching card here. But they've only played one, and their deck is very thin, so there's a good chance they have it in their hand. But if not, we get to knock out this Reshiram here thanks to Vitality Band. So hopefully they don't have a switching card. If they do, that's going to be really bad. They could switch and... Well, I guess they can't They can't do Crossbreak. They actually would deck out, so maybe we don't have to worry about Crossbreak after all. Maybe we could Sleep Block them out of the game too. Possibly. It depends on how many switches they actually do have left in their deck. Um, nice, we got the knockout. What do we draw? Another forest. Okay, well. We can play the ordinary rod. Get back the get back a Vulpix and Nine Tails. So we can KO them here, or we can keep them asleep. I think I'm gonna KO them. I like we don't really ever have to worry about cross break. They can't play it because if they do they deck out unless they have an energy retrieval or something. Or energy recycler. There's a scoop up net. 
Cynthia's good too. And what's our other prize looking like? Ditto. Not bad prizes. Again, we can just keep putting them to sleep if we have to, which is fine. They can't win the game with a cross break. And if they do... Oh, they play Stamp! Yo, how do they have all these random one ofs when they... Oh, rip. Good thing we have Jirachi. How, I don't know how they get away with playing Stamp with End Resolve. What? Okay, well, there's the Fatal Fail, but they don't even knock me out. Wow, I didn't even realize. That is really good. There's a scoop. That was a perfect top deck. So we just put them back to sleep. And we might be able to win here if they don't wake up. Or have a switch, which I don't think they do in a four-card hand. Uh, Hex. So yeah, if they don't wake up here, we win the game. Hey, so as long as they don't have a switch, guys, it looks like we're going to take a dub here over my opponents. Reshiram ends resolve crazy shenanigans deck with 16, 20 energy. And they just steady change. So as long as they don't have a way to get energy back. Well, they play 22 energy. So yeah. That's game. Sleep lock never deny it. That'll wrap up the video, guys, on the Nine Tails and Moongus deck. I think we did pretty good in this video with the deck. Um, it's a pretty cool deck for sure. It's fun to play. There definitely is some changes I would like to make. For starters, I think we maybe should play more Breelooms. Just having that other Spore ability is good. I think we can definitely cut down on the Nine Tails. Uh, maybe just going 3-3 three, three and putting in like another line of Breelooms good. Maybe just playing more Super Scoop Ups. Anything really to keep reusing the... Um, the fungus is good but other than that i think the deck played pretty well for us and we definitely got to show it off pretty well there in this video so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed today's pco rebel clash video drop a like on the video subscribe down below if you are new to the channel help me on the road to reaching 8300 or 9,000 subscribers and also so make sure to check out sponsor gravity use code ldf for the checkout follow me on twitter down below i tend to tweet out deckless early and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on another video there might be a story oh no wait this is going up on sunday i had to pre-record this never mind just scratch that Bye bye